Kennedys. How are you today? Today is August 1st. Whoo! This summer is just flying by us. <laughs> the weather has finally broken here. Uh, the heat wave is over. Um, it almost looks like it might rain a little bit. <laughs> so that makes me happy. Uh, cause man, that heat was just too much for me. And as you know, on the last episode of the movie marquee challenge, I was not able to finish my project. So, whoops. Ugh. So now I'm going to be able to start working on it again. <laughs> uh, but now we have a new one. <laughs> uh, for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, I'm doing the Movie Marquee Challenge with Heather the Crochet Witch. Hi, Heather. Um, and we pick each month, we alternate picking months and we pick out of our receptacle of whatever we've got and we choose a movie, show the movie poster, and we take the colors from the movie poster and we make something. So this month is Heather's pick. <laughs> oh, she's got me going on this one now. She picked Dude, Where's My Car? <laughs> yes, this is the poster. Um, I'm kind of stumped as to colors and whatnot. I had to really look at the poster and think, okay, what colors am I going to omit? <sighs> so the green that is in this poster, I had to omit because I can't find anything in my stash that looks like that color. Uh, I can't mix that color with anything that makes it look good. <laughs> As it stands, the yarn that I did choose, I don't really think looks wonderful together, but it's the closest that I can get. I tried to find a variegated yarn that had all the colors in it. Uh, yeah. Uh -uh. can't find it. So I chose Bernat Premium. It's coming out a lot brighter on here than it is. Well, maybe not. It, uh, it's, it's a little bit duller than this. Um, and this color is Yellow Balloon. Then I chose Craft Smart Value from Michaels. Um, in, in this color. And this color is Arctic. Okay. Um, and then I chose Bernat Premium in this color. This. Uh, is it showing blue or purple? It's blue. It's beautiful blue. Uh, and this is royal blue. So, I don't know, guys. What do you think? Do you think that's going to work? I hope so. <laughs> because that's all I got. <laughs> um... It was really hard to choose colors from this poster. There was so much going on and none of it makes any sense. Kind of like the movie. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> um, so what I've decided is I'm going to make a poncho that just came out um, it's Hectanuga 1, 
I will leave her link down below. She just came out with this fabulous poncho that I am totally addicted to. I started doing one in a different color. Uh, actually, I'm going to go get it. Hang on. Okay. Now, this is what the poncho looks like. Okay. But I'm going to change it. Okay. This is the beginnings of the poncho. You have to make two panels. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Emmy's poncho and I'm going to mix it with Candy from Blue Eyed Styles ponchos. Now, what Candy does is she puts a cuff and makes an arm. She also puts a collar on some of her ponchos. So what I'm thinking of is making a wide opening and having a long hanging um, collar. I'm hoping. I've never actually done a collar like that. I think I maybe have done it once. Um, so I'm hoping it's going to work. I don't want the collar to be like the tall collar. I want it to actually be a drapey kind of collar. So I'm hoping this is going to work. And I've also never put arms on a poncho before or a Rwanda or anything like that. So this is going to be fun. <laughs> uh, I absolutely love this pattern. It spoke to me right away. Um, it is, I think it's a two row re repeat and it's pretty easy, pretty easy. Uh, I, so, and it's light, like it's not, it's got holes in it, right? So it's great for fall and winter or fall and spring. Um, it's even probably good for winter time. If you get mild winters, like we do here and like you could put it, a turtleneck underneath it, or, you know, or if you, you, if your body temperature goes a little warmer than most people, then you can just have a tank top underneath it. Um, I think it's going to be a very versatile piece. So what do you think guys? This kind of a pattern in these colors, it's going to be a bit interesting because I'm going to have to cut my yarn and restart it. So, cause with these colors, I, I do a continuous type join, um, or continuous join, you know, I carry my yarn. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do that if I have three colors. So I'm going to have to do like one color here, another color here, another color here. Uh, I'm going to have to figure out how many rows of each color I'm going to need. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to have two ponchos going at the same time. <laughs> So, and if I get it done fairly quickly, then I can go back and I can finish July's movie marquee sweater. So, yeah. So what do you guys think? I'm, I'm actually kind of excited about this. I, you know, when I saw this poncho, um, on Emmy's channel, I was, I watched the video and how it, um, how the stitches go. It's like a drop stitch. And normally, excuse me, normally I don't really like a drop stitch because you can mess it up pretty easily on the ends. With this one, I picked it up right away and I couldn't put it down. I was so excited about it that I just kept going. I've been staying up until like two o'clock in the morning doing this. <laughs> Uh, so I think it gave me my Crojo back, uh, and I'm totally pumped about it. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Yay. <laughs> Hopefully I don't screw this one up. Uh, so anyways, okay. 
So go over to Heather's channel and see what she's got going on. She's got lots of colors going on. And I'm really excited to see what she does with this. She can take any color and just throw it together and it looks beautiful. I, on the other hand, cannot do that. <laughs> I just, I'm not that creative. <laughs> Her last blanket is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. <clears throat> the transitionings in color on that blanket are stunning. So yeah, if you haven't seen those videos, go check out our channel and take a look because it was awesome. Awesome. <clears throat> so, okay. Um, I guess I never really talked about this yet. So we would love for you guys to do this challenge with us. You do not have to do the video that we're doing. You can pick whatever movie you want. Uh, as long as, you know, you let us know what that movie is. And then post your pictures of your progress or your finished piece in our Facebook groups, which are linked down below. And uh, yeah, and I would love to see what you guys are up to. Um, and I mean, any project that you're doing, come post it in my Facebook page. I love seeing what everybody else has got going on in their, on their hook. Uh, <clears throat> but I really encourage you to step outside the box and do these challenges with us because I mean, I've been doing stuff that I never thought I could do. I, um, yeah, like, I mean, who knew that I could do this stitch, right? Like, I mean, come on. I, it, I struggled with it, but I got this part done. Um, <clears throat> I just, the heat wave really kicked our butt and I just couldn't finish it. So, <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, I guess I'll have another cup of coffee and deal with this. <clears throat> so, anyway. Um, yeah, so I love you all and I hope to see you what's on your hook soon. And I will talk to you in another week. Okay? I love you all. Bye. Bye.